Today we're looking at Traceroute. If we bring up the man page, we can see it will print the route, the packets trace to a network host. What does that mean in action? Basically, it's going to list out for you the host name or the IP address of each machine on the internet it takes you to get to a remote server. So in this example, we did google.com. Yes, you can also do this on your local network, but unless you've got a more advanced local network, it's probably going to be one hop. If we use one of my NAS boxes as an example, which is at dot 55, we can see that you are going to get directly to that because your only hop is through your firewall for DNS and it's going to bounce right to your, right to the specified IP address. On the Mac OS side, we can run the same thing and it again behaves like the Linux version. So what's the difference on a Windows system? Well, given the legacy of where Windows came from and uh, the evolution from DOS, the command on Windows is trace RT. And that's because of the once imposed the eight character file name limit. And it's just never been changed. Same basic idea on Windows, but you abbreviate route down to RT. I'll see you tomorrow.